again developing our native garden in late 2019. It's a north facing garden so it is very hot and dry. The design is based on the original 1950s layout and we've used coal pen steel edging to help raise the garden beds and improve the drainage. We've hoped to create a wildlife friendly garden and we've used a real diversity of different Australian and local indigenous native plants. We've planted four trees, a dripping she oak, a green mallee and two frangipanis. We've concentrated on ensuring there is a wide diversity of different plants in the garden. Lots of grasses, ground covers, shrubs of different sizes, flowering times and flowers that attract a wide range of insects. We also have a small collection of succulents and cacti. They do very well in the hot sun. Our rear garden consists of a courtyard which is cool and private. We have a small area of lawn but largely the backyard is devoted to growing fruit and vegetables. We grow a wide variety of herbs and use many in our cooking. Our greenhouse is really useful for growing many of our vegetables by seed and we propagate lots of different plants. The vegetables are grown in raised beds and we have three water tanks that supply a reasonable amount of water for summer watering. We also compost most of our green waste. We have two chooks, Martha and Claris. who provide us with a regular supply of eggs. 2020 was our first year that we harvested our own olives and tried to preserve them. So hopefully they do taste okay.